As many sports fans are well aware, as of this time right now, July 12, 2020, Tom Brady is now the starting quarterback for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which is good news for many. And of course, he's bringing Rob Gronkowski back. But of course, that news probably resonates with no one better than um, wide receiver Mike Evans, who I think because of his elite size, ability, I think he's I think he's an elite wide receiver and I think he should be recognized as such. And now he's going to have Tom Brady on his team for at the very least one year and we can see what's going to happen as of this year. So I'm I'm definitely putting Mike Evans on my radar because Tom Brady is definitely the best quarterback he's played with. So let's see what happens this season. Just to give you a little bit of back, just give you a little bit of background. Mike Evans is a 26 year old wide receiver for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Like I said, uh, coming out of Texas, he has a pretty big guy. Kind of uses the size. He's six five, two hundred and thirty one pounds. Um, just to give you a little bit of background, of course, like crazy athlete in high school, played uh, played high school ball, high school basketball in Texas. Um, he eventually got recruited to play at Texas A and M under Kevin Sumlin in his first year, and he was and uh, eventually he was redshirted his first year, um, and then he was brought up his sophomore, or he was brought up as a redshirt freshman in twenty twelve. As Johnny Manziel took over as the starting quarterback for Texas A and M, so I mean, of course, though those are some pretty eventful years for Mike Evans. In his redshirt freshman year, he finished the season with, uh, he played all thirteen games. He had finished with eighty two receptions, for eleven hundred yards, from scrimmage, and of course, you know, Mike Evans starting to get the recognition that he got, but of course, he wasn't known as one of the best. I mean, of course, that was Johnny Manziel's season. I believe Johnny Manziel's fresh shirt for, uh, red shirt freshman season was the year that he won the Heisman. Don't take my word for that one, but I just know that that season was insane. But I think Mike Evans is a really, really big part of it. And going on into his sophomore year, uh, Mike Evans had finished the year playing 13 games. He had less receptions. He had 69 receptions, but he finished with 1,340 or 94 yards, uh, 12 touchdowns with 20 yards per reception. And that was his red shirt sophomore year. And that year, the, and after after their win at the Cotton Bowl the previous year, they went on to win the Chick. They went when they went on to beat Duke in the Chick Fil A Bowl, finishing both of their seasons that Mike Evans was there and Johnny Manziel were there. Both those seasons, Texas A and M was ranked, and they were a very very fun team to watch because of course Johnny Manziel was scrambling around. He can make every throw, and Mike Evans was a receiver. And Mike Evans is a very elite college receiver that could basically come down with anything. So. That's why I was always kind of impressed with Mike Evans. I always I, I liked Mike Evans at Texas A&M. I didn't imagine he would be this kind of player in the NFL, even despite where he got drafted. So Mike Evans, good, young, wide receiver playing with Johnny Manziel. He ended up getting drafted seventh overall in the 2014 NFL draft by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I mean, and ever since, he's really been kind of balling since he got there. His first year there, his age 21 season, um, he started the 15 games he played in and finished with 1,000 yards receiving and 12 touchdowns in his first season. Um, <clears throat> and of course, he played for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He really didn't do much. That year, the Buccaneers went 2-14, and finished with the worst record in the NFC. And Lovey Smith, I mean, Lovey Smith was the coach. They would end up getting Jameis, Smith, or Jameis Winston the very next year. Um, and then in the age twenty or in the twenty fifth season, twenty fifteen season, his first season with Jameis as his quarterback, um, Mike Evans at twenty two played started in fourteen of the fifteen games he played in, finished with seventy four receptions for twelve hundred yards, only three touchdowns. Uh, he hadn't made a Pro Bowl yet, but I mean he was he still had this is the second year in the league and his second one thousand yard season for what it's worth. His third season in the league, or I mean, and of course the Buccaneers finished with. Six wins, 10 losses, finishing last in the NFC South yet again. Um, in 2016, uh, in his second year with Jameis, Mike Evans made his first uh, Pro Bowl. He started and played in all 16 games with 96 receptions for, for 1,300 yards, finishing with 12 touchdowns in the season, matching his rookie year, but at the same time, he was still getting 1,300 passing yards or receiving yards. 
know, that was the first time he made a Pro Bowl, and people really started turning their heads and seeing, like, what this guy was all about. Because, I mean, after... I mean, after making the all-rookie team his freshman year, that, this was, and this was the first time he made, he was a second-team all-pro wide receiver. And no, I mean, he already, and in his third year, he had already established himself as at least a top-tier wide receiver. His age 24 season, he finished with 1,000 yards and five touchdowns in 15 games, while the Buccaneers finished the season 5-11. Um, and 11. I'm sorry. The year that the year that he went all pro, the Buccaneers went nine and seven, and they missed the playoffs. But they they were still pretty. Or that was their first season under Dirk Cutter. And then in his third, in his 2018 season, um, in Mike Evans' age 25 season was when he made a second Pro Bowl after starting and playing in 16 games, finishing with 86 receptions and his career best 1,524 yards, uh, and eight touchdowns under Jameis Winston. Yeah, of course. I mean, he made a Pro Bowl. Didn't really make any teams after that, but I mean, this is what he was doing. And then last year, which is why I consider him elite, he was a Pro Bowler at in his age 26 season, finishing with uh, 1,200 yards, almost 1,200 yards, and 67 receptions in 13 games. So, I mean, I'm all, and, and eight touchdowns with Jameis Winston as his quarterback, as Jameis Winston led the league in passing yards. I want to say led in passing touchdowns, too. I'm not sure, but he definitely led the league at in interceptions. He had a, that was that was an interesting year. Mike Evans had and, and this is and if we look at Mike Evans now, we look at him, we see a six foot five, very no, like a very impo- physically imposing wide receiver who's inflicted his will on the NFL, making or I mean qualifying for three Pro Bowls in the six seasons that he's played. On the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, while while like five of his six years he was in Tampa Bay, Jameis Winston was his starting quarterback. So I think now if you insert Tom Brady into that equation, you insert Rob Gronkowski in that offense, the Buccaneers definitely become more scary. And I imagine that takes a lot more pressure off Mike Evans, which gives him the chance to really kind of go off on his own. I know many people that watch the NFL think Mike Evans is a good receiver, and they're probably going to look at him more often now because Tom Brady's on his team. But I don't know. I'm just here to say like he was always that receiver. He was never on the Julio Jones, Antonio Brown, uh, DeAndre Hopkins level to me. But I always felt that compared to all compared to a lot of receivers, there's only a handful of receivers that I would take in an instance over Mike Evans. He's very young. He doesn't really get he doesn't get hurt that often. Um, he plays really well. He's pretty quiet. He doesn't seem like he's a he doesn't seem like he's a locker room disturbance. I like what he's about. I like how he plays. He plays really tough, and he hasn't. Like, I mean, he's had a bad. He's he's he hasn't had an elite quarterback that he's ever played with up until his like up until this season now, and he's never really complained. I'm really looking forward to seeing what Mike Evans does with his team. And I mean, there's not much more I can say. He's, I mean, he has a he probably has a couple more years of his prime left. But I mean, like while he's still playing elite, I'm still gonna recognize him as an elite wide receiver. I want to thank you for listening to all eight and a half nine minutes of this. And if you get a chance, look out for my boy Mike Evans. He's number thirteen and plays wide receiver for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He's gonna be playing on the same offense as Tom Brady, so like they might they might actually make a run at the playoffs. So give it if you ever have a chance, watch Mike Evans. Peace.